talk about how you give the team what you feel like they need in a given moment in this one. Six points the first three quarters, 18 in the fourth. What did you see from their coverages or what did you feel like you could do differently that led to that four? Uh, I mean, they're the best defense team in the league. Uh, they had a lot of high hands. Uh, I was missing some shots early. I think it was just a lack of aggression. I mean, I don't want to take away from who they are as defenders or as a team. Um, you know, but they got some great defenders over there. So I feel like I feel like I was just missing some shots. And uh, so in that fourth, um, you know, I knew what time it was. How helpful is it when Miles can have a game like this and punish a team that goes small for significant stretches? Yeah, I mean, obviously, last time we played these guys, Zubac had a great game, you know, whatever it was, almost 30 and 30. Um, so, you know, I, I think as a competitor uh, and as a competitive team, you know, we wanted to respond the right way. Uh, we attacked him early. Um, you know, we felt like we were getting after him. I think he only had his seven rebounds tonight. Uh, but, man, he's a tough guy to keep off the glass. So um, we were able to do that successfully, made them play small, uh, which is to our advantage, you know, because we still feel like we can run even with a big on the floor because MT runs so well. So, um, you know, we felt like we dictated pace tonight. And usually when we dictate pace, we win games. So, um, you know, that's what matters. You talked a lot this week about how much better you guys have gotten, as, you've gotten as a closer, how, how you guys have gotten as a team. But uh, you obviously were able to get fouled at some key points tonight, and that's something you've talked about wanting to do more. Is that where do you feel like you're getting better at that, at, at drawing fouls at the right times when you're trying to get to the line? Yeah, I'm just trying to stay aggressive. Um, you know, I think I'm shooting three free throws a game. Uh, that's, uh, I mean, that's higher than I've ever been in my NBA career, but still not where I would want it. Uh, I think in the moment, I'm thinking that. You know, I'm not getting calls or whatever, but refs are human. You know, they see some. We have great conversations. You know, they're really approachable. So, uh, you know, and sometimes when I go back and watch the film, I'm like, yeah, I was complaining about nothing right there. I didn't get touched. So uh, it's just, it comes with it, man. And, and down the stretch, I was just trying to stay aggressive, get into the cup, um, you know, and just looking for my shot. And, and you know, they're coming over and following me, allowing me to get to the free throw line where I feel like I shoot a high percentage. So um, just trying to stay aggressive. Again, I know we've asked about this a lot this week about about closing, but I mean, was there something more that you saw from this team tonight? I guess as something another step that you guys took in that regard to get better in that. I mean, playing two of the best players in the NBA. Uh, obviously, you know, PG felt like he was home tonight. You know, 45 couldn't miss. Um, you know, but we took on that challenge. You kind of you got to figure out a way to weather that storm. Uh, in that third quarter, we fouled too much, sent them to the free throw line. They were in the bonus pretty early. Um, and we just weathered the storm the right way. No, um, you know, we could have – things could have went downhill after I got the tech. Um, but, you know, we, we figured it out from there. And, um, you know, I thought everybody everybody pitched in tonight. It was a great team effort. Um, you know, and, and the fans really helped us out tonight. They had the energy going for us all night even after that. Uh, kept us in the game. And, uh you know, allowed us to, you know, to, to leave with a W. Tyrese, um, you spoke to Miles' effort tonight. Um, I'm just kind of curious for you, um, how have you maybe seen him grow even over the course of this season, from the start of the season to now? How have you seen him grow? Um, you know, I think him understanding that with this group, he's like a real vet with us. You know, he's a guy who's played in the league a long time com in comparison to everybody else here. And being able to use that wisdom the right way. I mean, when they ask, like, who's played in a playoff game, He's like one of the only ones who can really raise his hand. Um, so, I mean, I think he has just done a great job as a leader, you know, using his experience, um, you know, and now transitioning back to being uh, a full-time center, you know, being able to execute there where, you know, obviously the, the paint's been a little clogged up for him in the last couple of years. So I allow him to, you know, kind of dominate down there and have space. Um, I think he's just, you know, having fun playing basketball again. Tyrese Rick was talking about you guys getting this experience, playoff experience, if you will, against very good teams. Where do you think the team has benefited the most from from that closing games and, and doing it in front of a big crowd? Losing. I think that's like the best teacher. I think early, like we we had we struggled to close games earlier in the year. Um, and I think you need that. I think a young group needs that to kind of grow the right way. Um, and we're figuring it out every day. I think you saw from game one against Washington, like we don't, we're not going to give up. We're going to press, figure it out, you know, get back in the game, whatever it takes. Guys are going to play hard. So, um, yeah, I think now is the, is the finding the ability to finish games and whatever that is, wherever guys have to contribute, whether that's offensively, defensively, shot making, uh, extra effort defensively, whatever it is, you know, guys are figuring it out. So I think experience is the best teacher, if I'm being honest with you. And, um, you know, I think we're getting that, you know, every day in, the, in these close games. We've played a lot of clutch games, uh, you know, in this last week or two. Um, so I think that's really helping us.
I think it's several close games this this season. You guys have missed a lot of shots late settling. Tonight, you guys were just, as a group, continued to attack. How much has maybe that been a growth point for this entire group? Yeah, just getting the shots we want. Um, yeah, I think just staying aggressive uh, when I'm driving, teams are collapsing, so just kicking out, getting good shots. Um, and I think we're living with a lot of the shots we take down the stretch. I think that's the thing is, like, you got to – Sometimes you got to look at the film. In the moment, it might feel worse or better, and then you watch the film and you feel a different way about it. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call it settling. You know, I, I think that it's just finding what's the best shot at that moment. And uh, I think it's, I think again, I think it's just something that comes with with time and growth, and we're just figuring it out. Tyrese, what is the challenge of being aggressive, finding your own shots in close games like that, while still keeping the offense running the way you guys like to run it every possession? Yeah. I, I mean, I've spoken on this before, um, but I think it's a constant question, like, how do you do it? And I don't think there's a perfect way for it. I've asked a million people what's the correct way to do it. Nobody has the answer. Um, you know, me and Jenny talk about Sue all the time. We talk, I've talked to Sue about it. Um, just like, what's the balance? Like, how do you figure it out? And it's just, it's a feel thing. You know, it's just feeling what the team needs in that moment. Um, Today we needed some energy. Uh, you needed a boost for me. Guys were kind of looking at me to make plays, and so I was just doing that. Um, and I, I think the great thing about this team is we just, from top to bottom, you know, whether that's the coaching staff, players, no matter what it is, we're honest with each other. You know, I think to start that fourth, uh, I had six points when I came back in, and I think, to be honest, Chris, Chris pulled me aside and was like, "Man, you got to go. You got to get going." Um, and if he sees it, then I'm like, well, damn, everybody probably sees it, you know? So uh, I got to respond the right way. And so that's what I was trying to do in the fourth, just being aggressive. And um, But it's, it's, it's all a feel thing. You know, sometimes somebody else might have it going that night uh, where I got to figure out how I'm going to get them the ball, you know? So uh, it's just a feel thing. There's no correct answer. Um, you know, it's just, just feeling it through basketball.